I'm filming this demonstration to specifically cover the insertion and extraction of the holder from the TEM column due to a large number of reported incidents of vacuum crashes by users. So <clears throat> we're going to start from the state that we currently have here, which is with the single tilt holder inserted into the column, and we're just going to demonstrate this using the single tilt holder. It's essentially no different than if you were using the double tilt holder, but we're going to just demonstrate this with the single tilt for purposes of simplicity. So to extract the holder, the basic process is that the holder is pulled out until a stop is felt, then it's turned clockwise approximately 120 degrees until another stop is felt, and then it is pulled all the way out. So assuming you're right-handed, which most people are, that is all done with your right hand. That's not to say though that your other hand isn't participating in the process because it is. So this is something that I've seen people run into problems with. So you have to make sure even though your right hand is doing the pulling and the turning that you're actively pushing against this purple plate with in my case two fingers here with of your of your opposite hand or your left hand for most people. If you don't do that, you can potentially cause a crash. I actually ran into this just the other day with somebody that I was going over this with, okay? The other thing that your left hand can assist with that is really helpful is once you've pulled the holder out the first pull, then turned, it can help you during the second pull. So in, in my case here, I use my thumb. What you're gonna see here is I actually push against the underside of the base here while I'm also pulling with my right hand and that helps the holder uh, come out smoothly. Okay, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. So I'm pushing against here. It doesn't have to be hard, but you need to apply uh, some, some pressure while you're doing this, okay? Take your right hand. Pull. There's the stop. There's the stop, take your left thumb, put it behind the base and pull straight out while you're also um, pushing with your thumb from the left hand, okay? And so that went off perfectly, no problems. Um, and so now we can talk about insertion. So where people mostly have problems with insertion is that they don't line up the holder properly when they're inserting it. So on the base of the holder, or not the base rather, but the shaft of the holder, you can see the pin here, okay? So what's critical is that that pin is lined up with this line. So if that's not lined up properly, you can potentially cause a crash. Um, and then the thing to keep in mind too is that even if you have it lined up properly, once the holder gets up to about here, you're going to have to push to overcome uh, a seal and it's going to go basically all the way up to the edge of this tape line right there. Okay, so, and then once it's in, you're going to let go. Okay, so then the airlock has to pump out. So there's the pin. I'm going to line that up right there. Resistance, push, and then let go. Okay, so you can see if it's done properly, it should go up to the edge of that tape line. Now you also just heard that uh, airlock valve open, okay? So that means the airlock's now being evacuated. This light also comes on. Um, red means stop. That means that the system is either evacuating or it's waiting for some information. It is, of course, waiting for us to tell it down here in microscope control that we have a single tilt holder, which we do. And so this evacuation takes a minute. This can be configured to any time interval that you want on your particular system. In this particular system, we have it configured to pump out for a minute, but I've seen systems where they pump out for two minutes. One to two minutes is usually sufficient. Um, that of course is assuming your turbo pump is already on and running, which ours is. Obviously there's gonna be a delay if you have to wait for the turbo to turn on.
right? So we heard the airlock valve close and now this light went off. So now we can finish insertion. So it's now essentially the reverse of the extraction. I'm gonna turn counterclockwise till I feel a stop. Then the vacuum is gonna start pulling the holder in and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of force to the base here while it's being pulled in. Okay, so counterclockwise turn, there's the stop. Okay, and now if this is in all the way, you should see basically that the holder base is flush against that purple plate, okay? So where people usually have problems with insertion, again, is just lining up that pin. If you get that done properly, usually there's, there's no subsequent issues. So we'll go ahead here, we'll just demonstrate all these parts again one more time. I take my left hand, push against the purple plate, pull straight out, stop, turn, stop, pull straight out, use the thumb from your left hand to assist, okay, everything's fine, there's the pin, line up the pin with that line, Resistance, push. Okay, it goes right up to the tape line. It looks like one of these plastic rings came off here. I'll wait until the holder's inserted before I put that back on. That's obviously really just a more of a cosmetic thing, although it provides a little bit of grip. Um, we can tell the system here we've got single tilts. About ten more seconds. All right, light goes off, counterclockwise turn, stop, apply a little pressure. You can see it's flush with the plate. And that is how the holder should be inserted and extracted. It's important to keep in mind that also vacuum crashes don't happen unless there's a mistake done in the procedure. So they don't just happen out of the blue for no rhyme or reason. There was a mistake made somewhere in the process. You were pulling when you were should have been turning or vice versa, or you didn't apply pressure where you should have applied pressure. So vacuum crashes don't just happen um, just at random. If you have any concerns or questions about this, uh, please feel free to contact me. And of course, please feel free to uh, review the video at any time if you have any questions about how the holder is supposed to be inserted and extracted.